All right, welcome back. Uh, for those that saw the highway run, what you didn't see is after the run, I had some uh, oil come out of the breather uh, vent on the engine from some, you know, blow by from pressurizing the, the, the case and whatnot. Uh, on the highway, I'm running over 9,000 RPMs. These motors are uh, pretty low quality and that's just one of the, the byproducts you get with uh, that combination is got a little bit of blow by. And I was going to show you guys what I do on uh, some other bikes. Uh, this is fairly common uh, for guys that do track days and race their, their street bikes. And it's pretty, uh, pretty simple, pretty cheap. Um, and the reason that I'm doing the video is when I was looking up for solutions, I saw a ton of guys just saying lower the oil uh, uh, quantity in the engine. And I would advise not to do that. Um, you know, these engines are... are not that great to begin with and i think the more oil you can have in it the better off you're going to be um so hopefully this helps some people but i'll show you what needs to be done to 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 help that out uh, on the bike now what you have if you guys could see it there's uh behind this this hole here there's your breather vent for the engine typically a tube goes down and goes straight underneath and any oil that gets in there is just gonna go straight down to the ground and, and drip out. So what we need to do is uh, run a tube from uh, the vent and slowly make our way up. And to do that, I bought some uh, one inch ID plastic tubing and that's just gonna run as best I can. I'm gonna clean all, all this up here and, and, and run it towards the back here. Once I get to the back, there's going to be a, this is a one and a half inch PVC uh, plumbing cap. I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom here and take this 90 degree one inch uh, fitting here and actually I'm not going to thread it. I'm just going to use a, a epoxy and, and epoxy it right into uh, the bottom of the cap here. And once that's done, that's going to fall towards the back here. You know, obviously I'll have all my body work and whatnot, and the 90 will come out, and I'll probably have to use another 90 fitting because that's asking a lot of the tubing to make that, that 90. So I'll probably 90 out and then slowly make my way back down to uh, the vent. And to top it off, I'm going to put a some uh, uh, uni filter fabric on top and clamp it over it. Uh, this is a this is a street rig, so I'm not too worried about it, but it is good to have it filtered. Uh, most of these guys that are running these engines are on pit bikes and whatnot. But the ideal is that, you know, for the oil to make it up that distance, uh, it's asking a lot just because the whole tube would have to be filled with oil at that point. And even once the oil made it to here, now there's a lot more volume that the oil has to overcome to continue to go up. And basically at that point, just the air sneaks by the oil and the oil never really makes it that far. That's the ideal behind it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fit this all up and, and show you what it looks like once it's done. But once you see it, it's, it's real simple, it's inexpensive and it works. So I think that's all that matters, but I'll, I'll get to it. And you know, it shouldn't take me too long here. Uh, and uh, hopefully this helps some people. Uh, like I said, I highly recommend that you don't run the engine low on oil to to resolve this uh, these engines need as much oil as possible to keep them cool so uh, i think this will be a pretty helpful for some people that are running into the same issue all right this is uh the completed part of it here uh, without the bodywork on it the bodywork does all fit so you don't need to cut any of uh, the fenders or side plates uh, but yeah once you see this is pretty simple uh, like i said i got the tube going in with a uh a hose clamp on it there and the one concern I have is that there's a little bit of a dip here so I might you know if the oil makes it up this far it might might accumulate uh, in that part of the line but uh, I'll see how this plays out after I do a few runs and uh, but I don't think it'll be an issue I drilled a hole in the back here to let the the 90 degree fitting go in I've got my cap on and the filter so yeah this isn't going anywhere. Uh, real simple. I uh, recommend you look into this instead of going the 
uh, removing oil or you know having a lower oil level route uh, i think it's going to be a safer more reliable route long term uh, if you got any questions uh, let me know uh, but as you can see it's pretty simple what i will do uh, on the description of the the video i'll include uh, all the part numbers for what i got here uh, that way if you want to replicate the same thing you can all right thank you